Hi, this is Nhi. My name is Sun Dr. Kwonu Lee, and I'll be here to help you today. Um, what brings you into the office today? Um, my, um, the bottom of my foot hurts. Bottom of your foot hurts? How did it happen? Um, I think I, I think a few days ago, I started running more. You started running more? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you show me with your finger exactly where the pain is originating from? Yes, it's like right in the middle of my foot, right here. Okay. Both, both of them. Both of them, okay. And how long has the pain been uh, persisting? Uh, about a week now. About a week now. Uh, okay. And how would you describe the pain? Yeah, is it um, sharp? Dull? Yeah, probably dull. Dull? Okay. Mm, achy. And you, you said on the plantar surface of the foot. Uh, on the bottom side of the foot right here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, did you do anything to alleviate the pain? Did you figure out, did you try icing it? Did um, you take any medication for it? Did you go to a uh, different office before prior to the visit? I um, iced it. You iced and it? I, yeah. And it seemed to uh, kind of uh, alleviate the pain a little bit? Yeah. Okay. And did you see anything that kind of um, aggravated the pain? Um, at the end of the day. At the end of the day? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, when you're standing up, kind of walking around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, do you see the pain kind of travels anywhere? No. It just stays there. Mm -hmm. So it just localized in that area. Mm -hmm. And uh, how often do you think the pain comes and goes? Um, I say that it would be a good like half hour or so. Good half hour every day. Yeah, at night. At night. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In terms of describing the severity of the pain, how would you describe the pain? The, on the scale of 0 to 10, 10 being the worst, how would you describe your pain? Um, probably like a 3, just kind of irritating and annoying. Okay, alright. Alright, um, I'm going to ask you some other extra questions to better help you. Uh, have you ever been hospitalized when you're younger or, or recently? No. No. Um, yeah, no, sir. Uh, no, no hospitalization. Ho hospitalization whatsoever. No. Okay. Uh, did you have any childhood illnesses? No. Uh, chickenpox, for example. Um. Yeah, I think chickenpox. Okay, not the mother. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how about adult? Do you have adult illnesses like say um, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol? Um. No. 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 None of that. Okay. Good. Are you in terms of immunizations, are you uh, up to date mm -hmm. in terms of all your records? Okay. Do you currently take any medications? No. Do you take any herbal medications, supplements, or vitamins or anything like no. that at all? Okay. Do you have any allergies to food, environment, drugs? No. Okay. And do you, did you have any uh, blood transfusions no. in the past? No. no. Okay. And do you suffer from any anxiety or depression? No. Okay. Did you have any past surgical uh, surgery, surgery mm -hmm. done to you? No, okay. Uh, in terms of family history, does any of your family members suffer from diabetes, high blood pressure, cancer, kidney, heart diseases? No, everybody's healthy. Everybody's healthy? Healthy? Okay, good. Now, in terms of sleep, do you normally get eight hours of sleep a day? Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you sexually active? No. You're not sexually? Okay. Uh, do you smoke? No. You don't smoke. And what do you do for work? What's your profession? Uh, student. You're a student. And how regularly do you exercise? Three times a week. Uh, lately more, probably like four or five. Four, four or five times a week. For how long do you exercise for? Uh, an hour, an hour and a half. Okay, that's good. Um, do you do any drinking? Do you drink? Um, maybe once a week I'll have a big glass of wine. Okay, and how's your diet? Do you you say your diet is healthy? Do you eat? Yeah, uh, I make my own food. You make your own food and you generally eat healthy, you would say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what kind of food do you eat? Oh, um, chicken and broccoli. Chicken and broccoli, that's pretty healthy, right? Uh, do you use any substance, drugs, illicit drugs, like no. marijuana, cocaine, heroin, okay? Do you have any pets at home? No. Where you live, okay, no. Are you married? No. So I would like to be. You like to be married, all right. <laughs> Uh, for the past year or so, did you travel outside of the States? No. No, you didn't travel anywhere. Okay, that concludes the um, page.
patient history of present illness and the history. So we'll move on to some lower extremity examinations, uh, starting with the dermatological examination. So Miss New, can you scoot back a little bit? All right. So I'm gonna examine any dermatological related um, things that are present. Looking at the right leg, King, left leg, okay, feeling for any bumps, okay, okay. Uh, looking at the leg, there are no sign of dryness or xerosis bilaterally, right and leg are normal. Checking for interdigital macerations. There are no interdigital macerations on either leg, so bilaterally. There are no hyperkeratonic lesions bilaterally. There are no ulcerations bilaterally. There are no pigmented lesions on both legs bilaterally. There are no sign of tinea pedis bilaterally. There are no open wounds bilaterally. And checking for the nails is normotropic from one to ten toes. The normal nails. So that concludes the dermatological examination. Moving on to vascular examination, I'll be checking for uh, dorsalis pedis, the right leg. I could feel the pulse, two out of four, right side. Feel the pulse on the left side, two out of four. So dorsalis pedis present and bilaterally two out of four. Checking for the posterior tibialis, present on the right side two out of four. Dor posterior tibialis two out of four present on the left side. So posterior tibialis present and bilaterally uh, two out of four. Now checking for the popliteal artery. Up a little bit already present, two out of four on the left leg. Up a little already present on the right leg. So pop a little already present on bi uh, both legs bilaterally, two out of four. Now checking for the temperature of the leg. Normal temperature bilaterally, uh, warm to warm. There are no sign of edema. No sign of chronic uh, venous insufficiency bilaterally. No sign of uh, deep vein thrombosis bilaterally. Uh, color of the skin is normal bilaterally. Testing for skin turgor and elasticity. Normal skin turgor and elasticity bilaterally. No sign of varicose vein. No sign of telangiectasia bilaterally. Checking for hair growth. I shave. You shave? Okay. Normal hair growth bilaterally. Checking for capillary filling time. Normal capillary filling time from uh, toes 1 through 10 bilaterally. Okay, that concludes the vascular uh, ex uh, examination. Moving on to muscular examination. Miss New, can you please push your uh, feet against my hand? Very good. Same thing, off of the way. Good. Push out. Push in. Uh, normal flexors, extensors, inverters, and inverters and everters bilaterally on both legs. Uh, muscle tone looks normal. Okay. Now I'll be performing a, uh, to test for equinus, I'll be test doing a silver scoy test. I'll check, first of all, dorsiflexion, finding the neutral position first. Checking for dorsiflexions. About, say, 10 degrees. Dorsiflexion. About 
15 degree dorsiflexion when the knee is bent. So that's a positive gastro-soleal equinus on the right leg. Taking for the left leg. Finding a neutral position. About 10 degrees, same in here. A bit greater, a 15 degrees dorsiflexion when the knee is bent. So that's a gastrosoleus equinus on the left leg too. So, so positive for gastrosoleus equinus on bilaterally on both legs. Okay. And okay, that concludes the musculoskeletal examination.